Welcome to English Without Limits. In today's lesson, we will learn a bit more about the family. How to say how many brothers or sisters or cousins we have. We will also learn a bit more about community workers and the kind of buildings that each community worker would work in. We will also learn how to talk about what you want to do when you grow up, what kind of job you would like to have. I hope you enjoy the lesson. In a recent lesson, we learned how to talk about family members. Father, mother, grandmother, grandfather, aunt, and uncle. We're going to review these and go a step further. We also learned in that same lesson about community helpers. These are people like dentist, librarian, teacher, police officer, and firefighter. We're going to learn about the kind of buildings that they work in and how to talk about what we hope to do in the future. Let's join the class now as they begin to review this material. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Mrs. Drisky. Um, today we are going to begin by going over the family theme that we learned a couple of lessons ago. And I would like to ask you to, I would like to refer to this chart and um, let's just go over the family members that we have learned. So for example, here we have a father and a mother. Now, your father's father is your grandfather. The same goes for your mother's father. That's your grandfather. Your father's mother is your grandmother. And that refers also to your mother's mother is your grandmother. Now, your father may have a brother. And that would be your uncle. Or your father may have a sister, and that would be your aunt. And that refers also to your mother's side. Now, let's go one step further. If your uncle has children, they are your cousins. You could have a girl cousin, or you could have a boy cousin. And that also refers to your mother's sister, if she has children, they are your cousins. Everyone comes from a family. That is, everyone has a father and a mother. Now, the father of my father or mother is called my grandfather. The mother of my mother or father is called my grandmother. When my father or mother has a brother, this is called my uncle. When my father or mother has a sister, this is called my aunt. When my aunt or uncle has a child, this child is called my cousin. To say cousin, it does not matter whether it's a boy or a girl. A boy is a cousin and a girl is a cousin. Now, what I would like to do is let's practice asking questions. For example, if I was to ask um, Carrie Lynn, if I was to ask you the question, Carrie Lynn, do you have any brothers or sisters? You would answer, if you do, you would answer the, in the affirmative, yes, I have a brother and a sister, or two brothers and a sister. If you don't have any, you would answer in the affirmative, in the negative, you would say, no, I don't have any brothers and sisters. All right, let us um, practice asking the questions if you, whether you have any brothers or sisters. So I will begin with uh, Pavmuna. Pavmuna, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have brother and sister. 
Her answer was yes, I have a brother and a sister. Very good. Let's go on to uh, Nens Lin. Nens Lin, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. Brother and sister. Yes, I have a brother and a sister. How many brothers do you have? Two. Two brothers? And how many sisters? Seven. And you have seven sisters. Big family. Lovely. All right. And now let us practice the same thing, but this time I would like you to participate in the asking the questions and answering the questions. So, for example, Puff Sablut, I'm going to ask you to ask Carrie Lynn the same question. Ask Carrie Lynn, do you have any brothers or sisters? And Carrie Lynn will answer you according to how many brothers and sisters she has. All right, let's begin. Carrie Lynn, do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I have two brothers and so sister. Very good. Yeah, and her answer was yes, I have two brothers and a sister. All right, now Pavmuna, I'm going to ask you to stand please and ask Pavsablut if she has any brothers or sisters. Yes. Uh, I would like Pavmuna to ask you, do you have any brothers or sisters? Pavsablut, do you have a brother and a sister? Yes, I have brother or sister. How many brothers and sisters? I have two brothers oh, and seven sisters. Very good. All right. Um, now I'm going to uh, have you practice asking the question, do you have any cousins? Now we know that the, our cousins are our uncles and aunts' children. Uh, Nens Lin, I'm going to now ask you to ask Pav Samu if she has any cousins. Please ask her that question. How many, how many, how many brothers and sisters? Cousins. Yes. How many cousins do you have? Is how this many cousins do you have? Very good. All right, the same question on this side. Carrie Lynn, please ask uh, Pavsabu if she has any cousins. And if she does, then your next question will be, how many cousins do you have? Okay, please begin. Pavsabu, do, do you have any cousins? Yes, I have any cousins. How many do you have cousins? I have uh, maybe uh, 50 cousins. <laughs> wow, lots of cousins. Thank you very much. Did you notice how the teacher asked the question? She would ask the children, do you have any brothers or sisters? If you do not know the number of brothers or sisters, or if the number is not important, you could say, do you have any? Because I don't know. You might have none, or you might have many. So I could ask, do you have any brothers or sisters? And you could answer, yes, I have some brothers and sisters. That tells me that you have brothers and sisters in your family, but it does not tell me the number of brothers or sisters. When someone says, do you have any brothers or sisters, you could answer in two ways. You could say, yes, I have some brothers and sisters. Or you could respond with a number. You could say, I have two brothers and one sister. Or you could say, I have four brothers and five sisters, depending on the number. So when someone asks, do you have any, 
brothers or sisters, you can answer in two ways. You can say, yes, I have some brothers and sisters, or you can give a number. So if you are asking someone about this question, the conversation could go like this. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have some brothers and sisters. Then if you want to know the number, you could ask the question, how many brothers and sisters do you have? How many asks for a number? And the answer would be, I have one brother and two sisters. So take a few minutes now and practice this with a friend in your class. Ask them, do you have any brothers and sisters? Or do you have any cousins? And if they say, yes, I have some cousins, some brothers and sisters, then you may ask them the question, how many brothers and sisters or how many cousins do you have? Take a moment and try this now. Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Okay, so that was our very quick review on the family theme. And now we are going to um, move on to our next lesson, which is going to be reviewing um, the community workers that we learned last week. The way we're going to do this is um, I'm going to show you flashcards of the community workers and I would like you to um, just look and repeat after me. A dentist. Dentist. Construction worker. Construction, construction worker. worker. Librarian. Librarian. Teacher. Teacher. Nurse. Nurse. Police officer. Police, Police officer. officer. Mail carrier. Mail carrier. Grocer. Grocer. Doctor. Doctor. Firefighter. Firefighter. Very good. And now what I would like us to do is I'm going to ask the call on individuals to take these little labels and I want you to label all the community helpers that are on our chart over here. So for example, uh, Nenslin, would you please come up to the front and put the right label under the right picture of the community helper. and say it when you put it on, when you're identifying it. Okay. And now say, teacher. Teacher. Good. Continue, please. Doctor. No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, try again. Try again. Doctor, very good. All right, continue. Very good. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to ask uh, Bob Muna, would you please continue? Mm -hmm. Good. Police officer. Yes, police officer. Nurse. Nurse. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mail carrier who takes the mail to brings you the mail, brings you the letters from another country. Yes, very good. Okay, and say yes, and name the community helper grocer. Okay, and name the community helper. 
worker. Yes, construction worker. Name the community helper. Dentist. Librarian. Very good. Good job. Let's practice naming these community helpers. I will show you a picture of a community helper and I will ask, who is this? Who is this? And I will show you three names on the screen and read the three names. Then you must give the correct answer. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Who is this? Is this a firefighter, a dentist, or a librarian? This is a dentist. Who is this? Is this a police officer, a teacher, or a nurse? This is a nurse. Who is this? Is this a construction worker, a mail carrier, or a teacher? This is a construction worker. Who is this? Is this a nurse, a librarian, or a doctor? This is a doctor. Who is this? Is this a firefighter, a police officer, or a dentist? This is a police officer. Who is this? Is this a teacher, a librarian, or a nurse? This is a teacher. Who is this? Is this a dentist, a mail carrier, or a firefighter? This is a firefighter. Who is this? Is this a mail carrier? A dentist or a nurse? This is a mail carrier. Who is this? Is this a nurse, a librarian, or a teacher? This is a librarian. The teacher is going to ask the students a question now, and the question is, what kind of job they want to do when they grow up. To grow up is to become big. You are young, you are a child, you are small. But when you grow up, you get bigger and bigger until you are an adult. You are big, like me. So to grow up is to become an adult. So they're going to answer the question, what do you want to do when you grow up? Let's join the class as we hear the children answer that question. The question I have for you now, boys and girls, is I'm going to ask you the question, what would you like to be when you grow up? Which one of these community helpers would you like to be when you grow up? So I will begin with, uh, for example, Nens Lin. What would you like to be when you grow up? Teacher. A teacher. Very good. Now what I'm